What up? What up, everybody? How's it going? So nice to see everybody. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, it is a beautiful day in um in Minecraft. It is uh it's a cold and very cloudy day outside, but look at the look at the sun in Minecraft. I am getting that SPF right now. Let me just like take off my helmet for a second. Oh yeah. Getting that sweet, sweet is it SPF? Yeah, SPF, I think so. Don't worry, I've got I've got sunscreen on. Be before stream every single time, I I apply sunscreen because it's always sunny here. How's everybody doing? So nice to see you all. Welcome on in. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I am stuck right right now. There we go. There we go. I saw a message about um about some hydration casts. Very great idea. I'm hydrated out of my mind right now. I've got my cup already drank like half of it i am ready to go ready to hydrate some more so nice to see you all what was everybody up to uh over the weekend i hope you all had a safe and wonderful weekend so nice to see everybody it's been a while since i last joined a live stream of yours but i'm happy to be back off oh, fire welcome on in so nice to see you so we made some um we made some big progress big old progress um i have been just so excited about this you have no idea on friday <clears throat> we decided on twitch that we were finally going to address our storage issue in this world and chat look at this oh storage so for those of you kind of unfamiliar with this world because it is not a video series this is our long-term stream world that we've been streaming for like a year and a bit in you can see there's a lot of projects uh that we have to work on but because of all these projects that means we also have a lot of junk hanging around this base we do have an auto sorter but that only sorts the big blocks the little piddly blocks such as stairs and slabs all of that stuff has kind of been left behind in just like giant chess monsters over here so they're scattered all around the base it has been a huge problem and guess what we addressed it we addressed it it was snowing a bit where you were too as oh my gosh i feel like everyone's been hit with the snow lately happy drift energy makes me happy too aw sev happy sev energy makes me happy too how's it going sev so nice to see ya it's snowing right now, so snuggling with the electric blanket, a hot chocolate, and you. Aw, Lisa, that sounds so cozy. So, so cozy. See, I, you know what? Even though it's a sad, gloomy day outside, it's not, it's not too gloomy for me right now because I kind of love that weather. I'm excited to like, like I'm vibing right now because I'm in like a big cozy sweater. I've got water. I had a snack already. I'm good to go. I love the cold though. So for those of you who are like unfamiliar with this world, We've got our auto sorter here, which sorts all of our big blocks that we most commonly use. So we've got like all of our brick, our packed mud, like all the different types of wood, which has been amazing. However, as you can see, the issue is, well, where do we put all of this stuff? So we kind of started to tackle that on Friday on Twitch, exclamation point Twitch. If you uh, ever want to catch the lives over there, we go live on Fridays. Um, so we started working on this and let me tell you i have been super excited about it this is basically like the sorting system to kind of just stash away like all of the random stuff you accumulate and you know what i was sorting a little bit this morning and getting uh ready to continue kind of labeling some of this stuff i labeled this section we didn't do this on friday i did this this morning so we got like spot for like glass the end uh nether stuff bricks granite everything has a place now and i'm so happy about it so what are we going to do today though as you can see there's still a couple chests that need to be sorted i might have to turn these into doubles depending on what we're putting in there i'm unsure maybe maybe not we'll see but we need to decorate this place because right now there's just like a lot of like wood and like don't don't get me wrong it looks great but it needs decorations you know what i mean really need some decorations and i figured we sorted some stuff in the chill survival world before and it was really fun we could probably do that again i would also maybe like to get an entrance done at the um front of this because i wanted this to kind of be like an open concept thing you walk into kind of like a storage facility we could have like barrels and stuff hanging around 
Plus, also, when we were making this, we have to do a little bit of, uh, we gotta fix up some spots, because I did kind of, uh, tear into the mountain here, as you can see. But those are easy patches. So yeah, we have a full day of just hanging out and just vibing. Just vibing. Oh yeah, also, chat, if you're liking the stream, I know we've been live for like a couple minutes, but if you are enjoying it, please, please, please throw down that like button because it really, really helps out. Really appreciate it. This world is so beautiful and special, so many memories. Honestly, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. And I feel like I'm doing this world like a service by kind of putting the effort into like cleaning up all of the junk around it so it can really shine. And it'll be easier for us to get started on projects because I was even thinking I was I was running into a sugarcane problem the other week where I didn't have enough for like my rockets and stuff. I had enough gunpowder, not enough sugar, sugarcane to make paper. And it was a huge problem. I was trying to like AFK wasn't working. I've since organized all of my chests or some of them. I've organized maybe 20 percent of them. Look at how much sugarcane I ended up finding. This like it wouldn't have been an issue if I had just had everything organized, you know what I mean? So I think um, I think this is just going to help us out so much in the long run. You have a Twitch I never knew. Yes, exclamation point Twitch. Azzy, thank you so much for linking that. I appreciate it. Uh, we stream there on Fridays at 12 p.m. EST and it is a super fun time. All right, so this is my chest where I kind of put stuff that still needs to be like either filtered into our auto sorter or I need to make a spot for it. Like chorus fruit, for example, I can actually end stuff that's more like end bricks and stuff like that. Where did I put that? I would say like, I, I feel like that's a crop, right? Or food. I feel like that's food. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted because we need to start decorating this place. So let's start by doing that. And by start, I mean going to bed. Hello from Japan. Oh, Kumi, welcome on in. How you doing? Love your videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Does this mean you're going to tackle the chest monsters as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. We are going to build a little bit. We're going to start off by building a couple things. And then we are going to uh, sort some of the chest monsters and really fix this place up. I'm very excited. Very excited. I think we might have to go to the farm in a bit, the Enderman farm, and repair some of our tools, though. They're looking a little bit sad. Slap that, sl you slap that like button, let's go. I'll be in and out of chat since I'm at work. <laughs> Y'all best behaved, Moon. So nice to see ya, I hope work's going well. Thank you for popping in though. I hope, I uh, hope everything's going well. Bum, 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 bum. Miss playing Minecraft, hopefully I can play again soon. I feel that, I feel that. I, I actually like really missed it while I was on uh, vacation because I took 10 days off, literally did not play a, even a little bit of Minecraft. It was wild, very unlike me. And boy, oh boy, I missed it. I felt a little rusty when I, when I came back too. All right, let's start by placing leaves around. You know, you can't go wrong with some azalea leaves. So we'll get some placed along here for some greenery. Let's go like one, two, three, boop. One, two, three, boop, one, two, three. That doesn't really make sense because then you have a two block gap there and then a three here. So we're gonna have to change that actually. We can work with this. We can work with this. Luna, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Let's do like two and two. And then what could go in the middle here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. That works. Okay. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Froggy, thank you so much for the 15 months. Wow. That is wild. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Let's go. Ever since I subscribed to Infinite Drift 15 months ago, I've gotten my dream job, bought a Ferrari, and met the love of my life. Thanks for thanks for your support. Listen. Anytime. So happy all of your dreams came true. All because of that. All because of that. <laughs> Froggy, thank you so much for the 15 months. I really appreciate it. So nice to see ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh. Leave it to Froggy to have the funniest messages. Always. Always. 
One, two, one, two, perfect. We're just gonna go with regular azalea leaf across. Probably gonna put like some signs over top. I'm just gonna build out like a big scaffolding thing to go across like this. Cause there's probably some things we should add here and there. Oh, out of scaffolding. This is a two block gap. Gotta get rid of this dude. Boom. Lanterns, where I put lanterns, there they are. And then one, two, three, boom, boom. One, two, oh, this lantern's exactly where I need this to go. One, two, boom, and there. I don't mind if the lanterns are kind of scattered. I think that looks kind of cool, but we can probably put up like a bunch of plants and stuff like that. I was also kind of wondering if maybe we should, I know we have dark oak across here, but I'm like, would glazed terracotta look kind of cool? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I think I do have some more scaffolding somewhere. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's been organized yet because I still have to do, oops. That's why they didn't place, the torch broke it. We still have to place um a spot for scaffolding today. It's gonna go somewhere in one of these bins. So for now, we're not gonna worry about it. I just need to go get a little bit more. But then again, <laughs> look at this, watch. Plants, grab some bamboo, you see? Do you see where we're going with this? Plants. Mob loot. Mob loot. String. What's that? I have string? What? What the? Scaffolding. And would you look at that? We just made ourselves some more scaffolding because it was so easy to locate. Wow. Feeling good. Feeling good about this. Happy Monday, I'm lurking while building a new giant storage room. Thank you for the vibes. Yo, tea and biscuits, welcome on in. I love that we're both working on storage rooms. Love it, I hope yours is going well. Honestly, I'm, I'm absolutely vibing with this. I was so excited to stream today because of this. I was like, yes. I mean, like I'm always excited to stream, but I was extra excited to kind of uh, continue working on this stuff. Cause I was like, Pfft. storage. I, I'm a new person. Remember when I hated organizing stuff? Wild. How the turntables, you know? How the turntables. All right, let's get some spruce stuff. We can get some spruce fencing in, probably some signs as well. What are we doing? Some signs here. <clears throat> Just to make them look like they're in little boxes, you know? Little box vibes, except we can't really do that here if they're on the corners there. Maybe I should move these over one. I feel like that would work better. Let's do that. Kind of keep them in line with those ones. We could also do the flowering azalea here, you know? You know? Which world is this? We are in the long-term stream world. We are vibing in it. We uh finally built out this storage froggy and I am just absolutely loving it. I'm so excited to organize stuff today. You have no idea. What have I become? Fart reverb, there we go. Uh, that was me attempting to make the noise of the fart reverb for you all, but I just don't think it does the original sound justice. Also, Effexor, I hope you're doing well. It's so nice to see ya. So, so nice to see ya. What about something like that? That's kind of cute. I don't know, like, if I want to really keep it super complicated with the designs here. I kind of like just keeping it simple with some, like, fencing, some lanterns here and there. Oops, I need a little bit more spruce fencing. How's this looking? I think something simple like this is good. And then we're gonna need something across the ceiling. Maybe just some hanging lights or something. I have some ideas for those. So organized, please clean my room. I will pay you. Okay, you got it, Sev. You got it. Don't be fooled. I am not that organized in real life. I struggle. You should see my computer drawers. They are so bad. Big Tiny Duck is the organized one. And anytime she needs to look for something in the office, I like cringe a bit because I'm like, please don't open these drawers because I know you're going to like, I know you're going to look at them and be like, what is going on here? Because I know how bad it is, you know? 
I get very scared. Maybe hanging signs uh, with the category might be a good idea. I think hanging signs, the problem with that is we need them on every single, um, every single chest in order for it to work. That is a really good idea though. The hanging signs are really cool, but I think for uh, these ones, we have to have them kind of glued to that because each chest has something different. Gotta utilize hanging signs more though. I don't use them enough. I was thinking about storage for my new world and I really like the layout of yours. Heck yeah, by all means, by all means, give this a shot. I think it is really like for the most part, I'm actually pretty proud of this design because I find storage and stuff like that to be a little bit overwhelming, but this one seems to work out really well. We did something similar to it in Castaways. That's why I knew it was kind of going to work. So definitely recommend giving it a shot. Took two days to dig out a 50 by 50 cube for the storage room. That's one of those things about storage. You always need more space than you realize too. I find that's like the hardest part with it is just like digging out the space to do it. And then once you've got that, you're good. Watching on your phone because your laptop laptop broke yesterday. Oh no, oh, the worst. I hope, uh, I hope you can get it repaired or something soon. That stinks. All right. Let's put away some of this string and what's this doing in my inventory? All right, that's looking good so far. <sighs> you can't really see past all this scaffolding, but you get the point. You get the point. All right, now what I need is mud bricks. Okay, we have mud brick walls. So maybe what we can do is, where's the center point? It's this piece, right? Yeah. So, Mm, I think I'm done with all of, like, the edges. I just need to fill in the middle. Can't really see right now, so I'm going to tear all of this out. Mm. Ayla, welcome on in. I'll mostly be lurking for today as I'll be on heavy painkillers. Oh, no, I hope, I hope, uh, hope everything's okay. Uh, hope, hope you're doing well and no worries whatsoever. Uh, I hope you get lots and lots of rest and all of that stuff. You'll be lurking and playing Destiny 2, but so happy you're streaming at this time. Most YouTubers stream it in the middle of the night for Europeans, so please never stop streaming in the morning. Listen, I'm so glad that this works out for different time zones too, because I, I love like a good mid-afternoon stream. You know what I mean? For me, I love a good mid-afternoon stream. So I'm so happy it works out for uh, different time zones. All right, so we've got one, two, three, maybe on the fourth one, we put a wall. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. And we've got one, two, three, four. Boom. And then in the middle of this, one, two, three, four, five. I think that would work. Don't want too many lights. I think uh, three posts would be enough. Now, let's see if chains work, though. <clears throat> there's goes my morning plans looks like i gotta go into town much earlier now than planned Ah, oh, no the worst the worst i hope you get your stuff done real quick though so you can come home pretty nice scaffolding action oh my gosh thank you listen i was not good at scaffolding before so that's like a really nice compliment <laughs> look at me go <clears throat> i guess i'll like this stream but this organization is breaking my heart Shroud, one day you will learn the ways. You will learn the ways. Trust me. Trust me. It's it's just great. I'm just, I'm living right now, you know? Absolutely living. All right. What if we did boom, boom, and boom? Oops. I feel like they could all pro probably hang on chains, actually. That one looks pretty low. Enderman, welcome on in. Svi, welcome on in as well. Hope you had a great weekend. I hope you did too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I had a pretty lovely weekend. Uh, Big Tiny Ducks, um, mom and bro came over because it was his birthday. We got uh, Chinese takeout. It was so 
good. We had leftovers too. What a great weekend. We had cake, Chinese takeout. Like, come on. So, so good. I think we still have some leftovers because they gave us like some two for one on like chow mein noodles. And they just gave us so much food. It was ridiculous because we didn't even realize we ordered one and they were like, oh, there was a special. And we were like, huh? But it ended up working out because Big Tiny Duck got to take some for lunch today. So that's nice. And as for me, though, I had I had an Uncrustable this morning. Of course I did. Of course I did. Had an Uncrustable. I was vibing getting, uh, oops, come on. Getting some thumbnails ready. Getting some thumbnails ready. Working on some stuff like that. It was a good time. I don't even remember what else we did. Um, we did over the weekend. We were just vibing. Oh my gosh, I was coloring all weekend. I forgot about that colored a bunch, which was really nice. Oops. Oh gosh. How's this look? Oh, you know what? That doesn't look half bad. I was looking at it. It looks so flat from above like this. I was like, I can't even tell if this looks good. It does. Oops. Keep placing this wrong though. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. No, I think that looks really cute. Good morning, happy Monday. My daughter Aubrey, one of your biggest fans, is spending her last day of vacation watching you with me. She says, please tell Drift hi. Aw, Alicia, welcome on in. And also Aubrey, welcome on in as well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your last day of vacation, for uh, choosing to watch this stream and hang out with us. I really appreciate it. I hope you're both having a wonderful day. Look at you go. I know. I'm I'm even proud of myself. I am even proud of myself with this. I think it's looking fantastic. Building a storage hall is one of your favorite things in a Minecraft world. Honestly, there's something about it that's really fun. I'm enjoying it. I really am. Just need to figure out like what to put here. I'm almost like I just want easy access to everything and I was gonna put like a storage or um like a little workstation here. I was kind of thinking of doing like glowstone lights or something. That's what I'm thinking. Love your videos and this storage build looks so good. Oh Sarah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Celebrated Christmas with my cousins and uncle this weekend because we did the Rona party on real Christmas. Sev, I still feel so bad. So bad that happened to you. Actually rotten luck. Such rotten luck. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to break that. Okay, we're gonna have to move that aside anyway. That'll, that's our chest for putting in stuff that doesn't necessarily fit in a spot yet. So I'm gonna keep this aside for now. And we need to, that just means we either have to funnel it into our um, big storage or we have to make, uh oh, <laughs> or we have to, <clears throat> oh my gosh, make a spot for it. I just messed that up big time. Big time messed that up. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh no. Oh no. Pick it all up, put it all in. This is all items that we were using to like actually detail the stuff. I don't necessarily want to get rid of this stuff yet, but I know some of this can go into our big storage. Only a couple things. Put that away for now. Daughter Ron, hope your stream is a happy one. Aw, Team Biscus, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day. You need to get some more coloring books. I love coloring. Oh, me too. There's something about it that is so, so um, satisfying. Big Tiny Duck got us uh, a new set of markers too. I think they're the ones that like don't streak and they and they're also pastel. And I have just been having the best time ever. Also. Holy cow, Ian, thank you so much for the 10. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that chat. You know what to do. You know what to do. Big old swags. Thank you so much, buddy. What in the world of blocks? How did I forget the God of mining crafts was streaming on the tubes of you? <laughs> that was a sentence and a half. After a long day of arguing with police and schools, it's paperwork time. Oh my gosh. Toots, I hope everything's going well. So, so nice to see you. I uh, hope your paperwork's going well. 
And I hope we had a good weekend as well. Need some color be besides leaves? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, um, I'm thinking, well, I want to do like a pattern in the floor of some sorts, either with glass or I want to get some like glowstone lights. You know what I mean? I don't mind like the warmth of this, but I do agree that like color needs to be pulled in here somehow. Also, maybe some banners or something. I think banners would work. And also, another also, what if we flipped this spruce into mangrove? I was kind of thinking about that as well. I know I just put the mangrove away, but, oops, hear me out. Hear me out, chat. Mangrove and like maybe like some terracotta. We're gonna have to do a repair on some tools soon. Me, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Nether red would look lovely. Well, it's it's perfect that mangrove kind of like emulates uh emulates the nether, you know? I think it's perfect. You know? What if we did this? Just to pull some color in and it'll be um, behind the storage. Oops. I feel like something like this could look kind of cool. That means also that we could change the color of the backing here too. I don't mind the dark oak for that necessarily, but it's just something to consider. I'm gonna have to rip out some of this too. I always kind of like looking at projects with fresh eyes. Like we did all of this on, um, on Friday. Haven't looked at it since, except for like this morning when I was organizing some of it. And I just kind of like the idea of coming back to something and being like, okay, this is good, but it also still feels like, like the basics of what we could do with it, you know? Green banners would look really cool. Old school library vibes, let's go, let's go. The red is giving pizzeria. This is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted it, I wanted this place to be mistaken for Tony's pizzeria, you know? Sophia, welcome on in. And Pluto, how you doing? Azzy, yes, the pastel markers. I should send you a picture. They're so pretty. I colored a couple things this weekend. I'll show you um, some of the uh, pages that I did. I feel like you would be like, yes, these are very nice. You would appreciate. I love a good coloring book. Really do. Pizza pie. This is just making me want pizza now. It's not fair. What are we thinking? Pizza pie? Pizzeria? I think that's kind of cool. Why not make the mangrove gates for the ceiling or uh, pull the color up? Uh, ooh, mangrove signs. Mangrove signs could be a good way to get the, the red color up there. Because since we introduced the red, of course, to kind of like, you're right, we have to pull it up to the ceiling somehow. I feel like that's a good, a good way to do that. Yeah, the mangrove actually looks pretty cool, right? I like it. Your weekend was good, Ian. Good to hear. Good to hear. My weekend was really good. I had a really restful one. Hung out with the family and had Chinese takeout. It was it was great. Can you build a Tony Pizza Bia here in this world? Yes. Actually. Actually, Tony's Pizza Bia. That's that'll be Tony's uh introduction back into this world. Why is that such a funny idea? 
That is so good. Ooh, cherry pie as well. Yes. Cherry pie vibes. Tell P uh, BTD it's pizza for dinner. Oh my gosh. I wish. I wish. We, <clears throat> we ended up having to do so much takeout this weekend because... Um, because of family and stuff coming into town. So I'm like, I feel like we have to cook a meal tonight. You know what I need to do though? I need to like make my own pizza again. We used to do that. Haven't done it in a hot minute though. Okay, the next thing we need to do is get these walls here. Fill these in. Oh, it is night time. It is night time. <clears throat> Should do the red glazed uh, terracotta above, across the top, behind the leaves. Oh, sold, sold. That's it. That's that's it. Let's do it. All right, I need to get a furnace. Well, I need to go visit a furnace. We need to pop some red terracotta in. We will do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do, do, do. We just have like this one piece. I could, I could work around this. I could work around it. Moon, thank you so much for the channel membership. Welcome on in. Welcome to the Drift channel membership. Sometimes I just don't know what to call them here. But thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. I was watching Friday's Twitch stream since last night. I missed it, but I'm here today. So if BD BTD comes in, you can use my name for her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's so good. I've I've been wanting I've been wanting to just throw it down. The worst part is I'm going to throw it down and she's just going to completely like just put like put a block on that, you know? She's she's going to shut it down so quickly. <laughs> When BTD pops in to drive by insult you, you can ask her for pizza. No, literally, literally, I need to. It must be done, chat. I'm going to ask anyway. I'm going to shoot my shot and she's going to say no. And she's going to be like, be reasonable. You know, we have like we've eaten so much takeout and I'll be like, you're so right. But I got to shoot my shot. You're getting pizza tonight, Froggy. Oh, so jealous. So jealous. Send pics so I can live vicariously through you, please. All right, I need to pop some stuff in a furnace. You know what? I bet you any money we actually have glazed terracotta somewhere, but guess what? Pfft, I don't know where it is. I feel like the red glazed, is there anything else that would look good next to the red glazed? I kind of forget what the options are. You've got the vegetable guilt. Oh my gosh, yes. The vegetable guilt is such a real thing. Honestly, now that I'm like, I'm getting getting older and stuff, it's not even just the guilt. It's like my stomach biome. My, my, my gut flora is like, this isn't even me guilting you. This is me telling you that you need to eat vegetables. Otherwise, I am gonna cry. And I'm like, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. You love the zombie ASMR in the storage room? Me too. Me too. They're always hanging around somewhere because there's still caves underneath that I haven't lit up. It's so funny. Use some stairs to make a pattern in the floor. Oh, like have them, um, so they're kind of like indented within and we can make like a little design. I feel like we should do something like that in the middle of the room. It could look really cool or something with glass. <gasps> oh, I, I have an idea. Okay, what if we did like Mangrove stairs surrounded with like a little bit of glass or something. Red mushroom block. That's another one. That's another one. Thank you. Thank you. You think the black glazed has red in it? Okay, I'm going to take a look. It's black and red, which is honestly pretty rad. Yeah, it looks pretty metal from what I remember. All right, let's uh get some regular terracotta. We can dye it and then we can burn it, I think. Yeah, the storage zombie just lives there now. 
he's just a resident, you know? Uh, where's our regular terracotta? And I need to get some dyes. Don't even ask, just say, hey, BTD, I ordered pizza for tonight. Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. That's what they always say. That's what they always say. Honestly, I like, I have such a hard time doing that with food because I'm like, I, I would never want her to be disappointed by a food choice. Chances are she wouldn't because we're usually on the same page with our cravings. I think I told you all about this, how um, the other night I was like walking to the gym and I was like, oh my God, like I just, for some reason, I really want Wingstop right now. Like I'm really craving it. And I was like, I wonder if I should like mention it to her. And I was like, no, 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 forget about it. Forget about it. We're gonna have to like cook something when I get home. And then I was like almost done my workout. And she literally was like, I was gonna just order it on, on a whim, but what if we got Wingstop? And I was like, what? Get out of my brain. So BTD already pulled that on me where it's like, ask for forgiveness. She was just gonna straight up order it, but she had the exact same craving as me. Ooh, netherwood too would work. Oh, this, what the heck? Oh, this is metal. I like this. You can tell her you're supporting local artisans because you love your community. <laughs> I'm just picturing me ordering from like, not even like a local pizza place. <laughs> like a chain restaurant i'm just supporting the the community you know i'm just supporting i don't even know actually I have we have so many pizza chains in canada that are like not american so if i named one you'd all be like what is that your stomach biome being like the nether literally literally azzy that's what it feels like because i ate so much like i mean i was just vibing i was eating snacks had some cake like I was living. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to think of the best spots to put this. So obviously it would go, go well with the deep slate, right? So I'm kind of thinking like one, two, three, and then we go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, one, two, three, four. I'm just kind of roughing out a design and I'll kind of fix it as we go along. This might be too big, might not be, I don't know. I was gonna put like the mangrove stairs around it. So we shall see. Been meaning to ask if you're willing to share who did your avatar and character work for you. Uh, I've been a content creator for a while now and never had a skin or avatar made. So my skin was made by uh, my buddy Thror. Uh, I think if you just search Thror on Twitter, you'll be able to find him. He, uh, I think it says he's like a, game and like pixel artist in his profile. Absolutely recommend he's done all my skins as well as some other people in the community. And also my artwork um, on the channel was done by a very, very talented artist uh, named uh, Glow. I think if you search Glow uh, Wan or Glublin on Twitter, their stuff should come up as well. Very, very talented as well. Red shulker floor tiles make excellent floor patterns and adds extra stealth storage. Oh, I love that idea. To be fair, I have so many extra. You have no idea how many, how many shulkers I have that are just full right now because I've been absolute dis absolute disaster here. So I could probably get away with doing that. Should just pop one in the middle, you know? Storage, lighting, glasses on the other side. Uh, storage, boom. All right, I need some more mangrove. So 
sometimes use upside down barrels for the floor. What does an upside down barrel look like again? I I used the um the chiseled bookshelves for that and it turned out really well. I feel like a barrel would look really nice. Could probably do that on like corners or something if we wanted. Um, what was I looking for again? I just got sidetracked. Mangrove. Mangrove. That's jungle. That's mangrove. Egypt, he made your new ones? Let's go. Yeah, Thor is uh, super, super talented, honestly. It's just wild because sometimes I've given him like very vague descriptions because I'm really bad at describing things. And he's like created the exact vision from my brain without me even describing it properly. What a homie. All right, let's try. What if we did this, though? I need to go get more of those blocks. I'm I'm really vibing with the black terracotta, the glazed one, though. I think the nether smells like really rancid farts. OK, same. I feel like it smells like sulfur, like which in turn smells like rancid farts, you know? That's kind of what I'm picturing, too. Solid um, red shulker pattern would break up the very strong terracotta floor while still keeping red themed. Yes, that's a very good point. For a second, I was very lost. I was like, where am I? Smells like drift sweat and burning bacon. You're so right about the sweat. You're so right about the sweat part. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay, wait, what if we did this? Hear me out. I'm kind of bad at like freestyling. I guess you would call them like geometric patterns. Oops. But ah! it's still fun to try, you know, even if I'm not great at it. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm about to figure it out, chat. Can do like a cross of like um do them like diagonal to one another. Mozzie, welcome on in. How you doing? Nether's boring though, uh compar comparatively. It's not gotten a decent update in years beyond the nether netherite nerf and armor trims. There's no new bobs, no new biomes, no new structures. That's kind of how I'm like feeling about it as well. Like I know I joke that I hate going in it because I inevitably get hurt every time, but I also do find that it's like there's not much for me to explore in it at the moment, too. Like I go when I need to. If I need like warped wood or like um shroom lights and stuff but it's just like i don't know I just feel like there's not much in it right now i would love to see them do another update but also i would love to see an end update first because i feel like that needs a lot of love love <laughs> Guys, I think the nether needs a lot of love right now. <laughs> I can't wait to tell BGD what I said. <laughs> anyway, it needs a lot of love. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Will there ever be justice for ShamWow Bunky? Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'll, I'll fix that. Let me just go into my storage real quick. Love. ShamWow Bunky, I love you. Mm. You know what the sad part is we actually do have a graveyard in this world because of prior accidents. So <laughs> yeah, I will finally pay tribute to ShamWow Bunky. The corners can go in different directions depending on where you're standing and four together make a mosaic. Wait, what? With terracotta? Really?
Sham wow. There we go. <laughs> love. <laughs> R.I.P. Shamwow Bunky. I love you. There we go. All right. This is this is just not a great look for me. Having having like a couple of uh, grave plots around here. Not a great look. But hey. Stockport, welcome on in. How you doing? Mars, welcome, welcome. Caught up on your chill survival series and was dying at the part uh, the party the sniffers threw those pesky pesky guys. They were, they were, um, catching air on that ramp, you know? Just absolutely vibing. The, uh, the sweat smell from the death in the warped forest lingers in the nether. No, literally. That was the most terrifying thing that's ever happened. I know the, the epic death in the jungle as well was pretty crazy in this world, but the nether was one I was a little bit more terrified. Uh, I didn't know if I would get my stuff back or not. All right. It does move in different directions. You're right. What the heck? I didn't, I never knew that. So what if I did this? Oh, this is so cool. Oops, wrong way for this one. Did I go this way for this one? Oh, this is so weird. I'm not really good at making a design out of it. I'm like kind of half trying, but that's wild, huh? Okay, I'm just kind of like randomly filling this out right now, chat. I'm not like super committed to anything, but I would like to, what happened in here? Oh wait, no, nothing happened. I'd like to get some glow lights in here though. I just kind of forget how I, uh, how I lit these dudes. How'd I do that? Oh, it's just like a lever underneath. Okay. All terracotta is directional. Had no idea. I had no idea. I recently built a graveyard in my world and included a photo of the deranged killer in Shamwell Bunky. Wait, you included a photo of me? What was it like a wanted poster? Can I see a screenshot, please? You're still looking for information? Honestly, uh, if I hear any uh, whispers of any information, I'll let you know, but that's that's crazy. I mean, what? That's crazy. All right, I need some glowstone. I do need some glowstone. I must have some somewhere. because so I would like to make a couple of glow lights. I'm gonna walk through though. I'm kind of low on rockets. In my new world, every attempt I've made to go to the nether has ended in my catching on fire and dying, so I've kind of given up on that for a while. That's exactly how I feel about it, too. I'm, I've gotten, like, a little bit better, like, navigating it, but overall, I just find it such a pain because, like you said, like, you always somehow end up on fire. It's silent, and then all you hear is a gas going, like, Hah! and you're just like, oh, well, great, great. And then you lose everything, and it's just like... It's just not fun. I avoid it if possible. I avoid it if possible, but at the same time, I do have to be like honest where I would I would like to get better at navigating it or possibly build something like um like what Waxy does with his like ice tunnels and stuff. I think those are super cool. Redstone lamp. I need glowstone. Please. Oh, please. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. I might have to go get some. I might actually have to go get some. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gonna grab some rockets. Unless I have it hanging around somewhere else, but I'm not sure I do. I could have some in the storage over here. See, this is why... This is why we're organizing everything, so I don't have to keep doing this, because I'm sure I have some. 
all of the terracotta blocks bar the um sorry i was i lost the sentence oh the magenta have a pattern that's meant to be cohesive i had no idea that's wild i never noticed it's like the same thing i think froggy you showed it to me with the um the petals the cherry petals they it, they're like directional you can place them in different directions it's so cool okay i might actually have to go into the nether wah the confusion over the glazed terracotta placing is uh is so entertaining top content let's go <laughs> let's go it is very confusing. Okay, I need to go grab a couple things. Uh, I should probably put this stuff aside for now. We're still building with it, so I'm going to toss it in here. I just need to go get, like, a tiny bit of glowstone. However, I do need some rockets, which means I need sugar cane. Can't sleep yet. I failed at being a human, went downstairs for a drink, uh, and returned without a drink. Um, I actually think you succeeded at being a human in that moment, because that is the most human thing ever. Goes downstairs for something, gets completely distracted, ends up watching, like, an entire TV series, goes back upstairs without said drink or snack or whatever you wanted. That's me in a nutshell, honestly. It's so frustrating. You already sent it? What? Why do I not remember? Okay, I'm going into the nether. I feel like I have seen it. I just, for some reason, do not remember. I have to show you some screensho screenshots from the, the nether and ATM9. First time I've ever been a little scared. Oh, I would love to see. If something's rattling you, I need to see it. I need to see how scary it is. The one in better Minecraft was actually pretty scary. Uh, okay, we need some glowstone. There's lots around here, though. Here we go. Ow. See, I'm already on fire. What is this? What is this? Type one in chat if you loved the nether. I'm not typing one. Never have, never will. Ow. All right, how much we got? Is that enough? 33, I feel like we might need a bit more than that. Fix your tools? No, absolutely. I think when we get back from here, we're gonna do a, a little, uh, little Enderman farm trip for sure. These are looking pretty bad, eh? Can I reach you? Please. You always build a really small starter house and never have uh, enough room. Same. Same. My, when I say starter house, I mean starter house. I mean, like, you might be able to fit a bed in there and one barrel. That's kind of like my vibe. I like ones that people build where they're like modular, though where you build a small starter house and then they build something like attached to it to make it a little bit more bigger and like functional. I always think those are really cool. Plenty of biomes makes the nether a lot more fun. Uh, the visceral heat uh, biome and the one with the blackstone and purple uh, bulbs and also the one with the sulfur f fumaroles? Okay, honestly, the, yeah, the one in better Minecraft was pretty wild. Like, I, that was like, I was terrified of it because it's actually legitimately very dangerous. But I found myself actually, like, 
exploring it because there were so many different types of structures and bosses. I think it was the bosses that were really cool. There was like um like a Blaze King. There were different type of like bastions and stuff, which were really cool. <laughs> There's everything but one. Everything but one in here. We are all the same, except sorry, Shroud. Sorry. The nether can be creepy at times, absolutely. I find Minecraft in general can kind of be like creepy in a way. I just find like if I'm not like streaming it, sometimes I'm like suddenly I'm like things are quiet, too quiet, you know? You love the nether because Drift hates it? Jag. Jag. What the heck? Honestly, fair. It's probably uh, entertaining. Imposter, welcome on in. How you doing? <clears throat> find the be better Minecraft nether so overwhelming. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. I find the end really cool too, too though. I really liked the end. The better Minecraft nether, I do agree that it's overwhelming. It's one of those things where I'm like, I feel like you need to have wings and waystones in order to enjoy it properly. Cause I do agree that it can be like a lot, especially cause there's like so many random things like, oh, a biome where you're hanging off of an upside down mushroom. Great. <clears throat> you have to be more careful so you don't swim in lava. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't even want to, like, talk about the end right now because I'm in it and I'm scared. But, like, the end obviously scares me, too. Because, I mean, if you fall into the void, goodbye everything, you know? But... I try not to think about it when I'm here. I never get scared in horror movies or games by doing Minecraft. Nah, no, I feel that. It's just like the silence is too much, you know? All right, let me turn the game sounds down a bit. Uh, remind me to turn them back up for you all after. Maybe I'll just like mute them on my end too, so I can't, I know to like, actually actually turn them up because there's so many times i come here and then afterwards i never turn the game sounds up and it's just like muted for you all mitch is that mitchell i see mitchell happy birthday happy birthday bro Loud ender deaths, please. Sure, you got it. Hold on a second. There, is that great? Is that good for you? <laughs> ATM9 has new structures in the nether. Nether boats, new biomes, uh, which are meh. New fortresses and lots of cool uh, mobs. Yeah, I think it's the mobs that make, like, the modded ones really interesting. That and, like, the structures that have different loot and stuff. It makes it more, like... um, It just makes it more, like, immersive. The Enderman farm is so pretty. It's probably my favorite mob grinder. I actually wish I had built this earlier. Honestly. And my one wish that I like um had done for this area is I wish I had here, let me. I wish I had made this out of like end stone as well. I know I have like some mobs spawning on here because I technically didn't mob proof it with some of this stuff here. Cause I was like, whatever, I just wanted to look nice. Still functions okay. As he is the oh there we go i was gonna say stream elements having an issue there we go there we go <sighs> the sweet sweet sounds of the enderman perishing send you uh, screenshots of it the new mobs really scared me yeah i would love to see 
I would I would love for like I think I would love an end update first before a new like nether update. But I think eventually I would like another uh, nether update. What do you all think like the general theme of the next update is going to be? What are you all thinking? Because they focused a lot on, of course, like the trial chambers and stuff. Which I'm super excited about. But I'm just like, I don't I don't know what like the overall like overarching theme is going to be. Yeah, Stream Elements has been having like major issues uh, over on on the YouTubes. I'm I'm kind of contemplating giving Nightbot a shot. That's what I used to have on here. And then I switched over. I'll probably message you about it though, Azzy. Um, just to see like if it's something that we should maybe look into. Farming update when? Listen, if we actually had a farming update that like added more crops and stuff and gave us like more options to like for food, pff, I would be I would be in heaven. I would be a happy gal. I would be a very happy gal. Let me turn these game sounds back up for you all. There we go. Yeah, I feel like uh, an, an uh, end update would be uh, really cool as well. I think we're due for that. It's just like very, very desolate, you know? And I feel like it could do with a little bit more loot. Oh no, we got a thunderstorm on our hands. We've got a thunderstorm on our hands. Let me just toss these eyeballs into the water. Goodbye. Seeing your uh, name tools makes me think of my fishing rod called Here Fishy Fishy. I love that. I feel like the naming conventions on Minecraft is one of like the funniest things you could have. Like, I just love that you can name the most random things. Farming's also almost useless late game. No, exactly. That's a thing. Like, it's it's useful if you need like a couple of like crops like wheat and stuff to feed cows. But other than that, you're not like you don't really need it that much. Oh, no, this fell into a pit. There we go. I'm just trying to like mess around with these like designs to see if whoa <gasps> look at that okay okay what about this one what could i do here no 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 i don't know what to do for the corner ones but then again maybe i could switch those to lights because i like i kind of like how these two like are circular to one another you know hmm Oops. It's kind of confusing. There we go. Oops, that one was fine the way it was. Put that there. Put this one here. And then these guys, I don't really know. I think maybe the corner one right here. Maybe get rid of because it is like a little bit of an awkward design. And then we could have like the glow lights there. So as long as we turn this one in. Oh my gosh, the struggles. There we go. Same with this one. And then we do glow lights there. Baked potato bun with my baked potato burger with my baked potato fries. Mmm! Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, literally, like at this point, what am I doing out here with like 5,000 billion potatoes? It's just too much, you know? Boyfriend and I played Minecraft and he used my pickaxe, which I named Shovel, and he was like, why? Why is this? And I had to immediately tell him not to worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's Shovel. Don't question it. <laughs> I do stuff like that too, just like nonsensical names, or like, name it like Michael. Why'd I do that? Oh, 
it's actual glowstone, I see. Would have been better to get it with silk touch, but that's okay. All right, I need some redstone, and then we can make these glow lights. I also need to make some levers as well. Corner shulkers? My one... Okay, my one thing is... Okay. Let's try the corner shulkers. My one thing is they're a little bit expensive, but I just have to grab some and empty them. And I'll give that a shot. Uh, I was looking for redstone. What? No redstone? What the... Chat, what's going on here? Four K potatoes sounds good, but my monitor only goes up to ten eighty. Yeah, that's a big but um moment. <laughs> New update will let us compost poisonous potatoes. Could we not do that before? Huh? Why not? What is this? No redstone. I want to make mashed potato fries. Listen, I want to make that in game and IRL, you know, for I want to make make mashed potatoes, then form them into fries, cover them in flour, fry, freeze and then fry the next day. Listen, I think you're on to something. Are we talking like are we talking having a dip to accompany these perhaps some kind of dip? OK, I'm going to have to go get some. Some good old redstone. That's OK. We'll pop in here quickly. I know there's some redstone veins that I left aside in this cave. Wait, look at me maneuver that. <laughs> wow. That was incredible. That was a big swags moment. Oh yeah, look at all this. Look at all this redstone. Potato best starch? What other starch is there even? What other starch is there? I just realized I'm using silk touch. I'm going to commit to it. Going to commit to it and then we'll break it once we hit above the cave. What's that called? Real world something. I have no words right now. Always dip. Listen, I'm the one thing that was shocking to me when I went to the UK was I ate a french fry? Well, a chip in the UK, I guess you would say. And I said to myself, you know what? <laughs> this doesn't even need an aioli. This doesn't. That's how good they are there. Chips are incredible in the UK. What What are you all doing over there? Why don't we have those? American and Canadian french fries? Sorry, not as good. Not as good. They have like their, they have their time in place. Like I love like a good McDonald's fry and stuff, but I'm like, I always require ketchup. I always require like an aioli or something. UK chips? Nah. I'd really like to be able to make more placeable foods. Me too. Cake is great and I need to be able to add more decorations to my kitchens besides cake. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, if they did it with cake, I'm like, they could do it with something else, you know? Like, I would love to be able to plate like even a cooked chicken, you know? All right, how am I getting out of here? Top notch maneuvering. Look at me go. Look at me go. Flight master. 5,000. Those maneuvers and yet you still died by smashing into a jungle tree, honestly. I didn't know what I was doing back then. Also, I didn't have, I don't think it would have saved me anyway, but I didn't have feather falling either. Give me a placeable pot of stew. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That would be so cute. Honestly, just like the Farmer's Delight mod. Let me tell you, it was a delight playing with that mod because it you get so many cool items like that to be able to like place on the table. It's so much fun. All right, I need cobblestone to make some levers. Where's the cobble? Over here. Over here. Woo! 
Wee. Kim, welcome on in. How you doing? All right, let's make some levers for these lights. Then we can place a bunch. How do you make them again? Oh, here we go. Let's make a bunch. We need the redstone components, you know? We just do. Boom. Oops. So we got that one. Uh, this one. Oh my gosh. How am I doing this? There we go. Pop this here. Oops. Listen, I just placed another one, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine, chat. Everything's fine. Can I just place it here, actually? Boom. I can. Oh, didn't realize. Okay. So that's looking kind of cool. I like that. I do want to try the shulker thing. Um, See what that's going to look like. We have to get a shulker box, though. Let me take stuff out of this one. Put it in here. And then... We'll break this one. You can... Yeah, you can re-dye them at any point, right? Actually, I have a bunch of poppies in here because of the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Pass the one hour mark, stretch, take your meds, and hydrate. Yes, if everybody, if you need to have a quick little break or grab some water, make sure you're hydrating. We've got a couple more hours in this stream, so we are vibing. I'm probably going to take a quick little break shortly and, um... Grab myself some more water because I already I've been sipping. I have been sipping today. Absolutely. Oh yeah, shulker box. Do I just like oh that? Okay, cool. Uh all right, what are we feeling? <sighs> that looks good. What the Okay, I need to actually move these. That's why I did have them in the other spot. I now realize I was being smart. I was being thoughtful. There we go. Yo, that looks good, though. Why not redstone block under it? Can you do that? Wait, can you? Fexer, are you about to change my life here? I never know what signals and what doesn't. You know what I mean? I'm still like very confused by redstone. Bean, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a good one. Okay, let's see. It worked. It worked. Heck yeah. Okay, cool. Well, you learned something new. You do indeed. Heck yeah. All right. So, we've got part of this done. I want to add like some more lights and stuff. I'm actually really digging the shulker box thing. I think that's super cute. But... We are going to have to get, if we put them here, we're going to have to get uh, three more. That's honestly not even an issue. I just need to, I just need to empty them. I have a fridge full of food and I don't want any of it. I just want to order a burger. Why am I a bad person? Listen, sometimes you just get those cravings. You're not a bad person for it. I understand that. Sometimes it's just like, especially when you're kind of eating the same meals over and over, you kind of get like fatigued with it. You know what I mean? I totally understand that. That's kind of how um, me and Big Tiny Uck, Big Tiny Uck, Big Tiny Uck, Big Tiny Duck are. Wow, I'm really losing my words today. That is the funniest one I've said that said yet. I love you and Big Tiny Uck. My God. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna text her that one right now. I still have to save the one that Moon said though. For when she comes into chat it's a good one okay let's get rid of this stuff 
except I can't really get rid of it yet. Big tiny, yeah, big tiny dog. This one I don't really like. I like these colors though. I want to keep them around. Big tiny yuck. There we go. That's a good one. I came up with one all by myself. Are you all proud of me? I've been watching your videos for forever and finally caught you live. I'm so excited. Yo, sad boy. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for popping in, by the way. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get rid of this one, too. Big, big, tiny yuck. These are like little... I like this color palette here, but I'm changing them all to red. <clears throat> We're gonna have to go to the end soon and get more shulkers. Uh, storage. I'm just gonna start funneling back some of our stuff into storage bins that we can organize after because we are in chat we are in big old big old decoration mode so no time no time to waste oh our zombie storage friend is in the walls oops <clears throat> oops <clears throat> Sorry, gotta mute myself. I my throat is acting up again. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are good. Why do I have? To, what were these boats from? I don't remember. What did I do? Chat. What what trouble was I up to? I would like to know. Where is he? He's probably like directly underneath me or something. Is he in the walls? Oh my God. I made a spawnable little spot for him. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Hi. <laughs> what? That's so funny. Huh? I'm in the walls. Let me out. I'm hungry. Please let me out. I'm so hungry, man. And look at that glowstone. What I was looking for before. That's fine. We needed way more than that. Okay. Three shulkers. Are ready to be dyed. Now, where'd I put that dye? Let's do this. One. Oh, wait, it's just this. Ha ha. Easy. What should we put in these? It's like secret, secret storage, you know? Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Where, what are we going to do with this secret storage? What, what secrets will it hold? I feel like it's got to be something cool, you know? What do y'all think? Love how we're replicating the front art of that one album from My Chemical Romance. <laughs> you mean, um, cheers to the, I forget what it's called, like three cheers for sweet revenge or something. <laughs> I'm crying. Why is that so good? <sighs> That's so random. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. Will these be our little chess monsters? Our designated chess monsters? Is that the vibe? Why did you kill him? He was a good man. Also, lol, redstone lamps. No idea where those came from, but apparently I had some. Apparently I had some. Oh my gosh, this is life changing. GG's effects are GG's. Thank you. Nether stuff, because red, honestly, makes sense. Makes sense. That or like redstone. Those were like my thoughts. Hmm? 
Oh no, it's gotta be a full block. Shamwell Bunky's tender remains slash sandwich meat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all are brutal. Brutal. <laughs> tender remains. Boom. Uh boom. I think we could do one in the middle here. Oops. Yeah, just a torch there. Perfect. Something like that. That's a wicked floor design. I feel like terracotta to kind of like tie it all together would be fine. Like regular terracotta if we have any more. Because we don't want to overdo it <clears throat> with uh with all of the designs. We want a little bit of simplicity. Oh, that's too simple though. Maybe some mangrove too. You know what looks kind of dope? Hold on a second. Chat, hear me out. Hear me out. This stuff. Why is this stuff? This is just. Oh, that's very. Why does that look so bright right now? Is it because the lights are there? Does it mean they're like activated? Because that's not how it looks normally, right? That's like too much. I think that looks cool, but I think maybe it's activated or something. So it's looking a little funky. What about mangrove? Mangrove or honestly dark oak, I'm wondering. Like maybe just tying in some some regular old wood into it or even deep slate possibly. I think I like some of this, but maybe less needs to be here. I don't know. Let's try to bring the deep slate back in. This is the final final piece of the puzzle. It's got to look right, you know? I think that's kind of cool. Just kind of bringing back some stuff. I don't know. Hmm. I like that because it's not overstated. You know, the, the red terracotta was too much. I think the mangrove might be a little bit much too. Did I try the mangrove? I think I only did the dark oak. I'm gonna give the mangrove one shot, but if not, I think maybe just the deep slate is kind of the vibe. Ah! I don't mind the mangrove either. Or we were talking about stairs earlier too for like some depth. Something like this. Froggy, you're gonna DM the, the legend of ShamWow. Bless your heart. I don't know if that's too much. Yeah, I think I prefer it flat. Sometimes all it takes is like just like really just trying different things with it until something works. I think I would like to try. Oh, I got to go to bed. Well, we could try nether brick too. Nether brick could probably work. Let's try that. Do we just toss netherrack in the in the good old oven? Let it cook a little bit for that. Ow! The mangrove brightened the space in a good way. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I like that. I think it's between that and the, um, honestly, the deep slate, because that brought, brought back, like, cohesion. But the mangrove brightened it up. Deep slate stairs could work, too. I'm gonna see if I have any nether brick hanging around so I don't have to wait for a ton of that. I should. I know I broke some stuff in the in the nether, so. Sometimes that brick is like a little bit too like purple toned though, but we'll see. We'll see. 
Blackstone. That's a little bit... That has, like, too, too much, like, purple in it. Here we go. Exactly what we need. Deep Slate stairs could work, too. That could be, like, the definition I'm looking for, because it looked a little bit too goofy with the mangrove. I think it has, like, too many purple tones in it. And it's, like, competing against the gray in here. The, um... Whatchamacallit. The deep slate kind of uh, matches it a little bit better. So deep slate stairs was the other option. Might also just be like way overthinking it. Sometimes I do that after a while. Also, maybe the trick is like having the deep slate stairs kind of like this. Ooh, I think I like that. Yeah, I like this. Yes. I think that's my winner. That's like simple, you know? Yeah, I didn't want I didn't want too much. I think this is like perfect. The deep slate stairs definitely worked. I like that. I like that a lot. Very nice. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. Deep slate stuff, you go in here. We're gonna have to make like some redstone. Oh wait, redstone components. Guess what? We got a spot for that now. We've got a spot. Which is awesome. Redstone, mangrove stuff. Boom, 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 boom. And Grove goes in here. Deep Slate Bricks. I don't know if I have those in my item sorter. I've got to be honest. I think I might only have regular Deep Slate, which is wild. I might end up switching um, this, like... Because I have Cobble Deep Slate and regular Deep Slate. I might switch that with Bricks because I usually have so much. But we'll see. Mama Witch, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Kaylin, welcome on in as well. Sorry I was late. Uh, sorry I was late here. Hello everyone. Drift, uh, are you wanting to ever attempt a mega base project? I would love to try a bigger mega base project. I would say the closest one we have right now to a mega base would be uh, Creeper Castle. That's definitely the biggest one we've done in this world so far. But I would love to try something like an ocean monument or like a really, really big castle project. This is the closest we've gotten so far, which we're still in the works with. But I would love to uh, give that a shot. I would say that's my biggest weakness right now. Looks good. Thank you, uh, Cornelius. I appreciate it. Braino, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, I think that I think that looks good. It's perfect because you don't want it to be like too overwhelming and patterned, especially when you're in a spot that has, um, has like a lot of storage that you're trying to focus on. I think the one thing I want to do is add a little bit of that trim up here though, like the uh, the terracotta. I think that could look really cool. What we got here? Uh, deep slate, deep slate, deep slate. Boom. Then all of this stuff can go into our auto sorter. I think I'm going to put some of this stuff away too into the auto sorter. I don't think we're going to need this much deep slate anymore. Same with all of this stuff. We can go grab it if we need it, but... Need to, need to gather up all the chests you have outside various places and put them into one pile. Ooh, yes, that's a good idea. How do I go about, like, doing that? Like, do I start collecting everything within the shulkers, do you think? I'm kind of thinking that. Like, we need to kind of, like, go along with shulkers, gather everything up, and have it, like, all in this room so we're not, like, going back and forth, right? That was kind of my thought process. All right, I'm just gonna try a couple more things here. I would like to try just to see what it looks like. What if we had some... What 
we? Ouch. I knew that was going to happen. What do y'all think of that? To like kind of compliment this. Is it too like... Is that too grungy for like the nice flowering azalea? Or should we go like maybe the red glazed? Finally took the Christmas tree down. You're getting pretty sick of it. I get that. After like Christmas, I get like... Like the... I, I was gonna say Sunday scaries. Kind of similar to that where it's like you kind of get like the ick from the Christmas tree. Because you're like, it's all over now. So I was... I'm kind of like... I was kind of glad to have it down after Christmas. It kind of just starts to make you feel like a little sad. You're like, well, the holidays are over now, so what the heck? What do y'all think of that? Is that too much? Make a load of double chests outside and ferry stuff back and forth. Okay, I think that's per a perfect idea. I think also we should have like a spot like right here, you know? Kostia, welcome on in. How you doing? Tradition in Sweden is to put away all Christmas things 20 day after Chris 20 days after Christmas, so Saturday. I can't believe that it's already 20 days past Christmas. That's wild. Switch the flowering azalea to just the leaves. Yeah, I feel like that's what's kind of like making it combat, you know? Let's where my leaves at? There they are. Lo-fi, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, th I think this is really starting to come together. It's definitely taking shape. I'm almost wondering if we should also change some of these like signs to dark oak. I think we should. I know we're getting like really like nitpicky here, but I don't think that's a ouch bad thing. I think that looks better. Then maybe if we go dark oak instead for some of the fencing and the um the signs too. Bum bum bum. Gamer boy, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to dark oak for that stuff. So let's put this stuff away. Let's grab some dark oak. Yeah, I got the Christmas ick <clears throat> like the day after this year for some reason. Yeah, usually I get it like because I still really enjoy the time between Christmas and New Year's. It still feels like very um, like holiday like to me. But this year we were just so done with it. We were both like, Ugh, let's just get rid of it. Just wanted it gone for some reason. We also had like, um, cause we had Christmas at our house this year and our apartment's very small. We also had like, um, just like extra furniture and stuff in the living room. So it was just kind of hard to manage all of that stuff in one small space. So we were like, ugh, just need to get rid of it. Hey, okay. think, how's that looking? I think that looks better. Gonna swap all of this stuff out. Just get the signs here, here. I'm gonna have to swap these out too, I think, to uh, dark oak gates, or maybe not, because the dark oak is here, so I think that should be fine. Love where the design is going here. Very cool. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm I'm digging this too. I think it's I think it's looking cool. <clears throat> it's also like in theme with what we have for the entire area, but I also think like adding the small detail to the floor and stuff differentiated it a bit because I didn't want it to be too same same, right? But we also want it to feel in theme with what we already have. That's like the hardest balance to strike, I find. Make sure you're not doing like the same thing over and over, but also making it all cohesive. All right, just gonna need a couple more 
fences. I think that looks better. Adds a little bit more pop to it. Just need some water chat. Between Christmas and New Year's is uh, still the 12 days. There you go. There you go. I love that like lull where it's just like a lot of people still aren't back to work yet. So like the roads aren't as busy. Everyone's just kind of vibing, catching up on rest and stuff if they can. <clears throat> Need to put the kids to bed soon and we'll lurk for a bit. No worries. Hope it goes well. What client are you using? I use a uh, multi MC. I've used it for a while now. It's been really handy, actually. It took some time to get used to, though. <clears throat> All right, last few bits here. We're going to have to do the other side of this planter if I haven't done it yet. can't remember. I think there is, there are signs on the other side, so. Boom, boom, boom. Got enough signs here. And finally, the fencing. Let's pop some of this back in. Get it here. Boom. Uh-oh. One! What the heck? Just one. Okay. I'm gonna have to make a couple more sticks too. Bum, 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 bum. January is uh, just, all right, you had your fun, now back to work. Oh, totally. I found that it was really, really hard to get back into routine. Me and Big Tiny Duck were like oversleeping and stuff too. It was brutal because we, this is like the first um, time we had some time off together. And I don't know, since we've we've been together. And uh, as a result, I was definitely catching up on some sleep and so was she, it was wild. Uh-oh, I gotta go to bed. We need to somehow make this place. I want an open concept, but I also want to feel safe. I think I might put gates along here just in case like mobs and stuff creep in. We've had some really bad creeper issues in this base lately, and I just don't, you know, creepers blowing up in a storage area just would not be ideal. Pretty sure I would cry, so. <clears throat> oh, that's the timer. We're gonna have to take a quick little break soon. <clears throat> Gonna have to take a quick little break soon, chat. What would be your theme for your base if you wanted to start a new world? Oh, that's such a good question. I've been thinking about that a lot because eventually um, chill survival will probably come to an end. Um, eventually. I don't know. I don't know when, though. That could literally mean in the next couple months or a year from now. Who knows? Who knows? And I was thinking, I was like, what am I gonna do next for like a survival series? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Cause this place is like a very big mishmash of just like so many ideas and stuff. I feel like this world is like just one giant journal, but usually with stream or uh, with Let's Play series, I try to be a little bit more like thematic, I guess. I'd have to think about it. I wanna try something different than what I normally do. I kinda wanna go like full send into like fantasy style. Cause I don't think I've really given that like a shot, like elven fantasy. I feel like that would be fun and something I'm really interested in. That's one of my ideas that I've had. I don't know. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Terracotta. I'm still getting used to where everything is. Also, like, I would love to try things off in like one offs. Like if I were to do like 100 days where it's like jungle only world and I could really experiment with that as well. Cloud, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Hope you're having a good one. All right, this is looking fire. I really like how this has turned out so far. And I enjoy the changes that we made to this area. Although I have to do this as well. Change that to mangrove. This is already really coming together. Also, I think, I think that's good. 
think that's good. Except maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. A couple leaves in here. Just a couple throughout. I think like there is fine. Just for a little bit more green. That's good. <laughs> Employ the zombie for security. I know. Why did I get rid of him? I feel kind of bad now. He could have been a great employee. I'm feeling a little bit guilty about that one, chat. What did I do? Why did why was I so mean to him? What the heck? He would have been great. He would have scared off everybody else. Let's get rid of that one. And lanterns. Lanterns, lanterns. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Where did I put them? Did I actually put them away? Gotta go uh, go call your dad. No worries. Hope it goes well. Decorational. Don't really have any in there. I do have lanterns somewhere. I just don't know where I put them. I had like 30 of them. It's because my inventory is no longer organized. I can't see them. Oh, wait. There they are. There they are. All right. We're good. Oops. Wrong spot. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Get rid of this guy. Good to go. I was inspired by Friday stream, so I created a new Minecraft world to play in until the baby comes. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Heck yeah. How's uh, how's the uh, beginnings of survival going? I always loved the early game. I think mobs don't walk over carpet. Wait, do they not? Huh? All right, for this tunnel, I need to figure out what we're going to do for this wall. <gasps> I remember what somebody said. They said dead coral. Dead coral would look really cool. I feel like maybe we should do that. So what I think we should do is maybe take a quick little break chat. Um, I need to get some more water and stuff. And maybe we could take a trip over to the warm ocean, grab some coral and use that to kind of start texturing out the front of this build. Cause this is looking really nice. All we have to do really is work on this a bit and kind of like build an archway and texture this. So why don't we do that? Um, let's take a quick little break and I will be back in a couple of minutes. All right, BRB chat.
Alrighty, welcome back, everybody. Ooh. Baldur's Gate. I have not played Baldur's Gate yet. I really want to. I want to do a playthrough. I know me and Big Tiny Duck can't do it together because it would... It, it's not cross-platform from what I understand. But um, I would love to do a playthrough that we just, like, play with, like, on the couch. While one's watching or something. I don't know. Something like that. Because I heard that game is fantastic, so... I might try it out. Oh, my leg! For some reason, I think I just... Ow. I was, like, sitting on it weird or something. I stood up when I went on break, and I was like, why does it hurt so bad? What the heck? I'm trying to stretch it out right now. Perfect timing for me to get off a call. Let's go. Let's go. Hope everybody had a good break. Hope you're all hydrated, all that stuff. I'm absolutely vibing today. Absolutely vibing. Posture check. Thank you. Like, literally. I'm trying to get good posture. You know what? I think since going to the gym, my posture actually has gotten a bit better. Because posture is everything. So you don't hurt yourself. So I think it's maybe starting to help. Stretching is important. It really is. Stretching and posture. Those are like the two things that I've been working on recently. I found that like if I do proper stretches before and after a workout, it like is literally life changing. Other streamer I mob for has been playing nothing but Baldur's Gate and Lethal Company. I want to watch you play both of those so bad. I would actually love to play some Baldur's Gate. Would you would you all be interested in like a Baldur's Gate stream? It would have to be on Twitch though. It would have to be on Twitch, but I would love to. That or even like um could do some I could do some videos of it, but I just feel like it would be a fun stream. Lethal Company me blocked down and Rofo did and it was such a fun time. I feel like we only scratched the surface of that game. Everyone's been playing it like crazy. It's such a good party like um co-op game I would love to play more thanks for the posture check I was slouched so far down it's so easy to forget right may need some potassium for some cramp prevention honestly probably I feel like if there's some, one thing I'm lacking it's potassium I need to have I do need to have some bananas I haven't eaten a banana in a hot minute it's been a hot minute All right, how far are we from the ocean? Very close. Very close indeed. I always feel bad just like ripping this stuff to shreds. But listen. gonna look so nice though let's get some like different textures too so funny how dead coral is probably one of the best building blocks i don't use it too often because it's like such a pain to collect but literally the texture of it phenomenal you've been drawing nice what have you been drawing um one thing I am so envious of is people being able to draw. I just think it's like pretty wild uh, being able to visualize something in your brain and put that on paper. I just, I cannot fathom it. Carlos, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see you. I hope you've been well and I hope you had a good new year and all that stuff. Back, uh, leaning towards buying a mermaid tail. Let's go. Let's go. If it's some, it, I say with like hobbies and stuff like that and just like interests, I'm like, if you've thought about it for a long time and you've done so much research, I say go for it, you know? I say go for it. Uh, 
I forgot my bed. Oh, that's diorite. I was like, whoa, that stuff's already dead. No, that's literally just diorite. Lol. Can visualize many things um, in my brain. I just can't draw any of them exactly. Ask me to put my visualizations onto paper. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It ain't happening. Show you a screenshot on Discord. Let's go. Let's go. Tearing up this beautiful warm ocean. It's such a shame. Am I collecting the fans or am I breaking them? I think I'm breaking them. Can I collect those with shears? I don't remember. Shears or silk touch? I think it's shears. Let's give that a shot after I grab some of the stuff. My new Minecraft world was the first time I didn't panic immediately upon entering a world baby steps. I feel that in my bones. I remember when I used to start like new Minecraft worlds, especially like the first night. How terrifying. Huh? Oh, I think because I grabbed that with silk touch, it's not, it didn't die. How do I grab the, the fans? I don't remember. Is that a silk touch thing? Oh, it is. I don't think I, I don't think I just grabbed the one that I had originally picked. There we go. Could use some of those for texturing, you know? There we go. And how many do we have? We have 38, 9, 17, 25. I feel like that's a good amount. Except maybe because we have the storage for it now, I'll grab a couple more just to be safe. So I can texture with them another time. We're already here. There's nothing in the ocean that's hurting us, so it's, it's fine. Also, chat, if you are enjoying the stream, if, you're, if you want, if you're enjoying it, hit that like button. It really helps out the streams, and I very much appreciate it. Whee. All right, let's grab a couple more, and then we'll be good to go. Doo -doo. go i want to okay <clears throat> so i want to create like the entrance to a shipping yard it's got to keep in theme with like kind of what we have and stuff but i don't know what to do for the archway obviously this is something we got to discuss when we get back but I'm, I'm still i'm thinking about it right now i'm like what do we do for that all right let's head home first and then that'll that's what's on our mind next what the heck are we gonna do oops for our archway this looks so cool it's so funny i'm like sometimes like i'm looking at my my world and i'm like wow we've done so much work and then i look at it on the map and it looks like the area looks so small in some ways so so small Almost home. Wait, 
are almost home. So many mobs. So little time. Can't get me though, I'm flying. I'm flying. All right, we're pretty much home now. As soon as I see like swampy and birch forest, I'm like, we're safe. We're safe, chat. Lived to see another day in our Minecraft world. Although I can live to see as many days as I want because I'm in survival. That's how it is. All right, let's go back home. Let's sleep a bit. And then let's fix up the outside of the storage hole and we'll be good. 20 thirties. What, what type of style is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, let's start texturing some of this out. Amber, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Hope you're having a great day. We are just vibing today. We are working on our storage hall that we started on stream uh, on Twitch. And we are absolutely killing it. Maybe we can get some tough in there as well. Tough would be nice. Some a little bit of... Whoa! Whoa! -ho -ho! We have an issue here. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Collectively, Chad did not do, do its do its job. Oh no, I need to fix that. Oh no. Okay, collectively, Chad needs to be fixed in this one. We had a couple that were broken. I didn't think they broke on this side of the... Uh, didn't think we had any that were broken on this side though. So we're gonna have to fix that up. That sucks. <sighs> no. Why collectively, Chad? Oh no, all of this stuff. We'd be funneling in there. I think it's just residual. I, it might already be fixed, to be honest. Let's see. Let's go up into the working components. It's so funny going like backstage throughout here. Let's walk across here. Oh. Hello? Stuff isn't even, like, properly sealed off. Lol. There we go. Should probably, like, light this, too. This is a little bit sketchy, isn't it, chat? There we go. I like kind of being able to walk across this, like, boardwalk to inspect stuff, I guess. Never thought to do that before. All right, so this one is, how do I fix these again? Oh, it's the hoppers up there, my bad. Yo, Isabel, welcome on in, how you doing? So we are working on some storage today. Um, We've just been decorating. I will go back to it in a second. I'm just fixing up. One of our storage containers kind of broke the other day probably a while back here we go here's the issue so andesite needs to go into this one but we lost our buttons which i forgot to grab lol no okay we need to go back across i should just leave some of this scaffolding in here eh just so we can like easily navigate 
this little maze. I don't think it'll do any harm to the redstone if we leave it here, so it's all good. Let me go get those buttons quickly. I had to walk all the way in a big old circle. That's okay though. All right, collectively Chad. Why didn't you do your job? I forget what we like, we kind of solved in our brains what the issue was, but I don't remember what the, like what we deemed it to be. I remember we were like, oh, that's what happened, but it slipped my mind. Something happened though. What version of Minecraft are you playing? I'm playing Java and uh, the latest update 120. All right, so put these here and then andesite, boom, goes in here. So this should stop all of the stuff from running through. So let's say, actually, let's let it like finish its thing first. It always stops at like 41. I think stone goes past. So the stone's gonna bop past it. It's not gonna be able to go into that hopper. I don't know what happened. Something did though. Something happened along the way and it got messed up, but that's okay. That's how you fix it. It's just really strange. Like it just seems like out of nowhere, it like broke one day. And I, I think maybe we figured out why, but I just don't remember anymore. It's been too long. Something must have happened. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a mess now. I'm just gonna toss this stone in here. No! Stone can go in there. You get back in there. All this stuff is like funneling down too because it should have gone into the other chests. I'll move the stone for now. Whoops. And then that's about it. Okay. So we've got our cobble. We've got some andesite. Let's start popping some of this in place. Do, do, do. Kind of like having this beam like a little bit exposed as well. Give it a little bit more depth. Can't really do that on this side here because it's blocking some stuff. Why does dead coral look so good? Chat, why? I think here we're gonna terraform this a little bit. Make this into like an area with a bunch of um, chests and stuff. Maybe get a beam going here too. So get rid of this one. We can pop in place for a beam there. What type of tunnel is this? This is basically just like a tunnel that will um, go into our storage area over here. So it's like a little area meant uh, for like the entrance of like a shipping area. Thoughts on new cherry biome and bamboo block. Ooh, I honestly, I really, I really did like the 120 update. I think they added in like very nice things for like builders and stuff, in my opinion. Um, I was a huge fan of it. Cherry, I don't really build a lot with, but I'm excited that we have that like, like a very vibrant and colorful block now, kind of at our disposal. I need to utilize it more though. I don't think I've done anything with it really. But I think it's a great block to have. Also, as soon as I saw that block, I thought of, uh, thought of Brooke, Brookella. I was like, this is literally, literally meant for Brookella. Let's be real. 
And she's been killing it with uh, her Let's Play series. Actually killing it. Actually, probably want this cleared. Why is it every time I turn around Drift saying something about murdering something or how dead things look good? Listen, listen, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. The dead coral block is just such a vibe. What am I to do, chat? What am I to do? But yeah, I think like, um, I was really happy with the 120 update. I feel like kind of a little bit of the hype maybe like wasn't there in terms of the community reaction in a way which i get because it released sometime around was it close to summer so it kind of felt like in a way like the hype was there for a bit and then it died down like weirdly fast but i i really liked the the update like i feel like it was it was a really good one but also maybe the way it was released um just because like information was kept kind of like a secret for so long and then they kind of just dropped it. I, I kind of feel like that might have hindered the hype a little bit. I don't know. I was thinking about that a lot because it just seemed like a lot of um, a lot of people weren't super like excited for it in some ways. And I thought that it, it had a lot. It had like a lot of potential, you know? I mean, we got a cherry biome. So a completely new biome. We got... A completely new, um, like, bamboo block. That's pretty big. Camels. It, it did also feel, like, a kind of all over the place, so maybe it's, like, the cohesion of the update wasn't... is kind of what confused people, too. Me thinking about all the coral reefs near my base in my main Minecraft world? Listen, you got access to those coral blocks? Use them. Use them. They're so good. Dead coral would look good uh, with gravel since they have similar undertones. Oh my god, you're so right. Gravel. That's usually what I texture with too. I completely forgot. Completely forgot. Do I have any on me right now? I don't think so. I'm gonna just like toss in a couple of blocks here and there though. Bow, 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 bow. Oops. There we go. Got some leaves in there too. See, now what we can do, aquatic things, look at this. Whoa, we can put it all away now. Heck yeah. Taco! So nice to see you. How you doing? How's it going? Alright, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the entrance here. So we have like a little entrance, like some beams here, but we need like proper beams on this side as well. We're in a winter storm morning here in my state. It's been snowing since 7.30 and I'm making soup. Ooh, what kind of soup? What kind of soup you got going? Winter warming. I hope uh, hope you don't have to go anywhere. Hope you can enjoy the snow from a distance. We had some snow over, uh, over the weekend for the first time too. It was, it was awesome. It hasn't really, I mean, it's kind of stuck, which is nice because it was super cold or super warm the other day, sorry. And I was like, ugh. This is just like not nice because we were getting rain and it made me so sad, but we finally got some snow, a light sprinkle. So it's not like anything too crazy. And I was just kind of enjoying it. I love like a good snowfall though, you know? It just always feels so magical. Everything's just like so quiet and still. I love it. Zion! What's going on? So nice to see you. 
Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Where do we start this? One, two, three, and then maybe here? And then one here. One, two, three, four. All right, so we got two beams in place. I'm gonna knock some of this out so we can actually see it. What are we going to do for this design now? Mm -hmm. So we've got copper, which I think we should actually probably emulate with this. I think maybe we should use some copper on it and kind of keep true to that. Maybe we do slabs though. Went to work and then left early. Wasn't waiting for everything to freeze. It's already slippery. I'm making chicken uh, and noodles, but the snow is so pretty, honestly. Yeah, that's the best that's the best way if you see like the weather going south like that it's nice if you can just get out of there early because sometimes the commutes home can just be so dangerous glad you were able to dip out early so you can just like stay inside enjoy it from a distance don't have to worry about uh heading home oops Okay, I need some dirt because I'm going to try just like, I don't even know, some weird design, you know? I'm just, I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling weird design today. So what did we do here? We did stair slab, double slab thingy here. All this uh, dirt that I'm using we'll have to replace with like copper after, but... Ooh, what if we... This was an accident, but this accident might look good. Hold on a second. So we did... Is it slab on the side? I forget. Oh, no, we didn't even do that yet. Okay, so we did slab, stair, and then here we did, like, a weird double slab thing I'm gonna have to attach the bottom part of this though so this is gonna be like a little bit of like maneuvering you know <laughs> that's not right bum, bum, bum. there's a slab on the bottom bottom of the stair I think and then the top of it, like that. This is, this looks goofy right now, but bear with me. I think it might work out. I kind of wanted to try my hand at getting used to making more like, I don't know, even if they're slightly intricate roof designs, you know, just switching it up a little bit, get a little bit of variance. What if we did this? And then on top, we could do like, ah! Yeah, chicken noodle soup, like nothing, nothing beats that. That stuff is literally good for the soul. Like, absolutely. Trust the process, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like this looks wild right now, but I kind of see where we're going with this. I think if we connect it with like, Stairs here. Not like that. Maybe facing the other way. Just a regular old stair. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this could work out. Do, 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 do like that. As long as it doesn't look too goofy. Kind of like that. I went to Aldi a little bit ago and um, and me and this guy almost collided in the parking lot, but we didn't. Oh my gosh, that is always the biggest fear, especially when it's snowing and you have like no control over your car and you're literally just watching yourself in slow motion, like sliding into somebody. So scary. I'm glad, no I'm glad nothing happened though. Oh, 
That has definitely happened to me a couple times though. Snow do be dangerous for that stuff. Also, uh, Jitesh, welcome on in. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Your builds are amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. It's looking good. Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's a little bit different, but I kind of like that, you know? <laughs> that looks kind of sick. What? I don't know if I should have this one hanging down and then maybe some trap doors on the bottom of it, but I, I kind of like that. Just wanted to make a little bit more of a statement rather than having the classic, like, um, basically just having everything kind of like an archway. I just want something a little bit different for this shipping yard. Let me try one more thing though. Oh, I think I like that better. Yeah, that feels complete. Hell yeah. We could do like a little design on the middle too. We could have like a glow light in there and stuff. I think that would look really nice. And then we could fill the uh, sides in with copper. I like that. Anastasia, welcome on in. How you doing? Starting to ice over here in London. And that means that tomorrow everyone will be driving sideways upside down with a puzzled uh, look on their face. Exactly. First snowfall in Canada, nightmare actual nightmare too everyone's like nobody knows how to drive it's always the worst and also some people like haven't gotten their snow tires on and you just like if you have to go out there like to drive to work or something you're going out there and just hoping for the best at that point because it is it is not fun I like that a lot. Your lives are one of my favorite things to watch during lunch drift. Oh, Mouse, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm so glad you enjoy them. Hope you're having a great lunch, by the way. I, um, oh my gosh, my mouse speed is very fast right now. I accidentally hit it. Um, I had a, a crustable right before stream, but I might, I might grab a protein bar really quickly because I have to head to the gym after and I have not been like eating enough before I go and it's a problem so I need to do that okay let's grab the redstone lamps where'd I put those guys where'd I put ya here we go Go up a bit. Please eat proper food. I know, I know. I'm so bad with that during the day. I'm so, so bad. I'm trying to be better though. Trying to be better. I wish I could like light this and hide this a bit better. I don't know. The levers always drive me nuts. Or six more Uncrustables, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just read the protein and try to match it with a protein bar, you know? What's the worst that could happen there? <laughs> uh, honestly, why are those things so good? They shouldn't be that good. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Cool, cool, cool. And I get this and this here. How's that looking? Ooh, that's kind of neat. I like that. Got a fancy little design. Now we're getting fancy chat. Nuts are a good way to increase your calories and oily salads. I've got some avocado oil and olive oil on my fish salad with a bit of lemon juice. That sounds delicious. My mouth is watering. Listen, I, I have learned the way of the salad this year. Okay, so when I was like growing up, I hated salad. Actually, you know what? I didn't, I, I found it was boring because one, I was a kid and two, I just feel like salads were just not made properly back then. Like people didn't add like enough like 
chicken and stuff to it. Now me and Big Tiny Duck, like our salad game is strong. So strong. We had like chicken, nuts, adding nuts to the salad, like you said, is just like such a game changer. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. It's like that Simpsons thing where they're like, you don't win friends with salad. I'm like, you know what? You can now. You can if you make one properly now. So good. Ooh, I like that. Except this one should probably face the same way. Philly on that AME lunch and then a big dinner. I suck at eating protein. Me too. I always find that like I just also like I find that if I sometimes eat too much for lunch by accident that I'm not hungry for dinner and then I'm like but dinner is where all the good food is you know so I don't want to like ruin my appetite either it's such a hard balance it's like you got to eat during the day but then also I don't want to ruin my ruin my appetite for later What are you building today? Uh, by the way, your builds are amaz amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We are building out a storage hall. So in our other storage hall, this one's automated and is for all of our big blocks. And now we're making a storage hall for all of our small little guys. The little blocks that kind of get forgotten from time to time and just build up. So I'm building out the entrance right now. Um, and I think it's looking pretty cool. This is like a little bit like dark, but I like it. You know, I think it lo it's looking real neat. So I just need to get some copper, which I did see some. I don't remember where I saw it though. Oh, here, cut copper. I don't think it's waxed either. I wouldn't mind if it was like a little bit rusted. Oops. So let's do some stairs. I'm gonna have to get some more copper though. I live on salads, always do leafy green, plus two to three veg, plus fruit, plus one nut and fat. See, that's a thing. You gotta get like all of those ratios and stuff. That was the problem with like, I don't know, like my parents' salads back then. It was like missing like some crucial components. So you'd eat, the, you'd eat it and you'd be like, I'm still hungry, huh? What's going on? Uh, I have to pre prep my lunches, even though I work from home to make sure I eat well. No, I totally get that. I think I need to start doing that. Otherwise, I just don't eat well because I just get carried away with like my work. It's very easy for me to get uh, sidetracked. Hard boiled eggs are good in a salad, too. Oh, yeah, I should start doing that. Adding that to the salads came from chill survival series. Can I get a small world tour? Oh, my gosh. Yes, I would love to. So uh, this is a long term stream world that we've had for over a year now. So as you can see, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's come a long way. We started actually the VOD of the very first stream in this world is on the channel. We have moved a lot of the streams over to Twitch. However, if you go into the live tab, um, of this channel, you'll see like us building this house and a bunch of stuff over, uh, this way as well. We can do a quick little walkthrough of some of the stuff and then we'll fly above most of it because it has come very, very far. So this is like our little starter area that we had with like our little enchanting table, stuff like that. Super cute, super cozy. And we have just been working on it for probably like over a year now. It has changed a lot. It has gone through many phases, many builds, many triumphs, many, uh, many sad losses as well. We've died a couple times and almost lost our stuff. But we basically have like, we've got like a, quite a few farms. There's still a lot that I need to build out. As you can see, there's still ow, a lot of areas here that need building. But we've slowly been chipping away at stuff. And it's like really come together. It's changed a lot. I would say especially in the past couple months. Yesterday, my boyfriend uh, and I made cookies. Oh, what kind of cookies? I love cookies. 
Big Tiny Duck made cinnamon rolls. She hasn't made them in a while, and they were some of the best cinnamon rolls she's made in a long time, though. One of her best batches. So we got all our stuff here. We got like an iron farm. We got a place to trade with villagers, some iron. We got our sheep farm over here. Um, We have like a unbuilt area over here with a cat cafe, which will eventually have to be some other stuff too. Got a creeper castle area, which is actually made. This looks very different now. This is this was like one of the most stark changes I've noticed. That and um the city center are some of like two of the like really big things that have changed a lot recently. Mar, welcome on in. How you doing? But yeah, it's it's looking mighty mighty cool. So today we're just trying to get our storage in order because I have just like put that off for too long. It's been such an issue. So we're working on getting that done today and it's it's a uh, it's already helped so much. I'm so excited about it. You got molasses cookies? Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Molasses cookies are delish. Ginger molasses. Don't really often get those either. Ooh, we should add like a stripe of this maybe? Or maybe I should try to cover that. Maybe just try to cover that actually. I don't really mind if it's like poking over like this. We're gonna have to let this like oxidize though because I want some of it to be green. We're gonna have to get some more too. Something like that. This. This. Oh, now I want a cookie. I wish we had cookies. Do not have any at the moment. We do have cake though. I forgot about that. We've got cake in the fridge. Whoa, shulker box. What are you doing here? Your builds look amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <clears throat> any New Year's resolutions or goals personally and uh, streaming channel? Ooh, I love that. I love that question. Um, I don't usually typically, I, I don't know why. I always find that like my new year begins in like september at the start of like a new year like traditionally when you go to school and stuff like that so i kind of usually change up my lifestyle around then if that makes sense but i do have some goals in mind <clears throat> for things i'd like to continue this year one of them was that um i feel like i did a pretty good job at like maintaining like a decent like work-life balance I found that um, before it was just like all over the place and I wasn't, I didn't have a good like streaming schedule. I didn't have a good like content schedule. So things were just like either like always late and delayed or like I'd have to cancel streams. I think I've gotten to a good rhythm. and I'd like to keep that because I want to be able to this year, like make extra content. Like I've got a second channel um, that I started and I've been trying to get content out on that, which has been super fun um, and just like add more streams here and there if I can. And for personal, I think I'd just like to continue with like, I started going to the gym, the gym. I'd like to continue with that because one, it's like super fun. And two, it's definitely helped with like my sleep patterns and stuff. I cannot deny that. I feel like I'm sleeping better and just like all of that stuff. It's, I just feel generally so much better recently. So I definitely want to continue with that. What about everybody, everybody else? Oh, also another big thing. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. Hold on a second. Had to drink some water. My voice is shot. Another big thing is like my parents retired this year and um, I want to be able to like, I mean, obviously like I can't blow off work all the time. <laughs> like. That's not realistic, but I do want to be able like I, now that they have more time on their hands, I want to be able to like make more time with them and stuff too. Um, just because they've been really, really busy recently. So that's like another goal of mine is to like go do stuff with them, you know, just stuff like that. 
and yeah if anybody has any like goals or resolutions that they'd like sh to share throw them out in the chat i'd love to hear them oh my gosh there's pillagers there pillagers what are you doing leave me alone they scare me why do they just stand there like that why do they just stand there like that do you like home workouts i do i want to i don't have enough um space for like a bench and my problem was i have like a couple of weights but like they became too light for me and then buying like a bunch of other ones it was like too expensive so i ended up signing up for the gym because i was like i think at this point i need like more machines like at my disposal but if i'm not able to go there's like a lot of home workouts that i like rely on and it's been it's been super helpful i think uh home workouts have been like really helpful as well for sure i also have a bike too for like cardio days which is good because then i don't have to go out to do that do i have a copper section here i don't think i do i'm gonna have to make one here i think that should be a big chest i don't think that should be single oh i gotta change this to mangrove before i forget if i ever moved to a bigger space i would definitely like to get some like more home workout stuff so maybe eventually like i won't necessarily need a gym because honestly most of the stuff that i do other than me trying to learn like deadlifting and stuff most of the stuff i do is with a bench i'm not like super i don't rely too much on the other machines Can't even build half as uh, good as you. Honestly, like my one biggest piece of advice is like practice. I need to go through, I don't have any of my old worlds in this instance, but we really need to go through some of my old worlds soon to see like the difference between my builds like even a year ago. They've changed so, so much. And a lot of it is just like practicing and failing. Failure has led to so much success in this game. It's wild. It is actually wild. Failure, practice. That's usually when I learn the most. Let's place this here. What's the longest break I've taken from Minecraft? I would say... Oh, man. I don't know, because I... I haven't really taken like a solid break from it. I would say maybe the longest is when I went on vacation. Uh, and that was about, that was about like a week and a bit. I haven't really taken a break since I've started this channel, which is wild to think about. And even after like a 10 day break uh, this Christmas, I found that I was very rusty afterwards. These guys are not stopping. There we go. I can actually utilize these a little bit better. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to deal with them in a moment. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, let's get some copper here. Oh my gosh. I don't need a gym or a home gym because my job involves so much heavy lifting. Moon, I totally, totally feel that. That was my old job too. I was constantly lifting like, I don't even know, like 60 pound boxes of French fries and just like, it was ridiculous. And then once, I am very, very grateful once the YouTube thing happened <laughs> that, although that has been like, obviously incredible, thankful for every day, it kind of, my body changed rapidly. I'm starting to collect pillagers and boats and breaking their crossbows so I can stick them in different buildings in my world. That's actually genius. Genius. Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat. Uh, well, congratulations. Glad you made it. Looks like full time and uh, you're killing it. Sending big hugs and vibes with growth to your channel and platform. Happy you have a uh, set schedule too. Oh, Mar, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was the biggest struggle because I'm so used to like I worked retail before this. And my schedule was all over the place. Like, it'd be like, I'm working 14 days in a row just because that's how my schedule fell. So, like, setting a schedule for myself was definitely a challenge. I was not used to having, like, 
working like five days a week and then having weekends and stuff. I was just all over. Wish I could get to the point of thinking the gym is fun. I feel that. I feel that. I think it's like finding stuff that's like fun for you, right? Because like when I first used to start going, it was like, oh, I'll just like hang out on the like the treadmill and stuff and I get bored. So it's it like once I learned kind of like, oh, there's like weights and stuff I could I could like play with and like learn routines. I was like, oh, this is fun. Honestly, I don't even feel like dealing with these villagers. I'm kind of feeling of just like 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 leaving. <laughs> Oh no! How long do I have to leave for though? Goal is uh, to control my anxiety this year and not let it control every aspect of my life. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm rooting for you, Taco. I, I get it. I totally, totally get it. Coming from a, another one anxious person to another, you got this. If you if you set your mind to it, you got it. You can do it. I believe in you. Watching Minecraft tutorial style vids has helped me a lot. That too, for sure. Drift gonna end up so swole that her bicep needs their own beanies. I'm obsessed with that idea. That is hilarious. If that ever does happen, which it probably won't, somebody needs to illustrate that. I beg. This is actually looking super cute. It's, it's like subtle, but also like stands out, which is exactly what I wanted. Although I do want to change some of these blocks can be maybe like recessed a bit and maybe some change to like stairs so it looks more like old, if that makes sense. First, you can just follow along. At some point, you can start making your own creations. Yeah, that's exactly it, right? Like um, one, like eventually something clicks in your brain and you're able to just kind of like do it by yourself. It's the same thing with um even learning how to freestyle builds. That was like one of my goals last year to learn how to freestyle something. And I struggled with it like really hard because I always plan my builds in creative. And I just kind of like used this world as a place to kind of like figure it out. And eventually I got it. I was shocked. I'm a lot better at freestyling than, um, than I was before, but it's just something you have to get used to, right? Because you're... It's really just practice. Stafa, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Need to fix this up and then we're like pretty much good. I think I'm gonna just like cover this up with some trap doors possibly or maybe just like slabs slabs would probably work fortunate that yeah you work from home now pjs every day rj ggs ggs honestly Big GGs. I've heard a lot of places have um, started allowing people, like they finally kind of caved and now allow people to work from home. Which I, I mean, like at the end of the day, I always wondered this where I was like, cause I had to commute to work and sometimes my commute would be like ab absolutely awful. And I worked retail, there was no way I could have worked from home. But like, I would see uh, like the traffic going into the city and I would be like, why don't they let people work from home? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, or even go in like once or twice a week. Like this was like my thoughts pre, like pre, um, pre pandemic stuff, you know? And I was just like, why don't, like, I just don't get why they don't let people do that. Cause it would just alleviate so much traffic and stuff. And now it's like noticeably different in Toronto. Like if you drive, um, if you drive around the city on a Friday and same with like a Monday, the roads are empty now. Cause nobody nobody goes into work those days they all work from home it's like helps out with congestion like immensely it's wild it's completely different now <laughs> 
company I worked at has attempted uh, to make people work from more a hybrid, uh, work more hybrid, but people just prefer to work from home. Exactly. Some people just prefer, there are some people who genuinely prefer to go into an office every day, which I get. Like I get the need to be social, but I do think it like, as long as you can perform your job, like for the most part without having to go in, like I just don't see an issue with it. I do understand maybe having to go in for like, like meetings every once in a while. That makes total sense to me. But I just don't, like, if you don't have to be there every day, why would you? I don't know. Just seems so silly to me, especially because, like, the way that it's always been in Ontario is a lot of people live outside the city here. So the commute is just, like, there's so much traffic on the highways. It's actually concerning and terrifying. I'm just like, it's so much better for the environment, literally, for people to stay home. Give me 28 in six days. Let's go, Moon. When will I learn to wear real clothes even for morning shifts? Listen, Moon. I don't know because I'm not even there yet. I never wear normal real clothes. What am I wearing right now? I'm I'm in like my comfort hoodie right now. I just want to be comfy, okay? Except I'm that weird person. Is anybody else like this where they have to wear um pajam or not pajamas? Like cozy clothes to them at home is like jeans. I'm that type of person. Big Tiny Duck thinks I'm like a psychopath for that. She's like, how is this comfortable? But genuinely, I am comfortable in jeans. I don't know why. I think that's just like how I grew up. I was never really a big pajama person. Is that weird chat? Am I, am I weird? My friend is a data manager for a school and once a week they force him to travel from Manchester to London just to attend a meeting because they don't like that he works from home. That is literally it. It's like, there's no purpose for him to be there except we just don't like that you're doing that. Like, huh? Makes no sense. It's just such a waste, honestly. What's freestyle in building? Freestyle in building is like being able to build, um, just be, be able to build something on the fly, like pick out the palette, pick out the shape and all of that stuff without like being in creative and like taking your time and like really experimenting with different blocks and palettes. That's what I consider to be freestyling. It's just throwing something up on a whim and survival and like working on it as you go. Cause usually what I do is, hold on a second. Hold on. Um, BRB chat. All right. I've been in here before. I've showed you all some stuff. This is like my creative world where I pretty much plan out all of my builds. This is a new one though. It doesn't have any of my old builds. But as you can see, like some of the stuff you might recognize from some of my videos. So this is where I go to hash things out because I have like world edit. I have like all of the blocks at my disposal. I can like take my time with things. Like even the, the camel sanctuary looks so goofy. Here's like some structures that have never made it anywhere. Don't know what I was doing there. This, this might look, might look like a, a familiar friend's uh, video. Cause this is uh something that me and my me and some friends are on. This I've never used. I need to use it. But this is kind of like you can see like I'm like fleshing out ideas slowly and like trying out different things with like structures. And you can see like the evolution of my builds, how I get from like point A to point B with them. Even with this one, this was my long play. Um one of my long plays, and it started off with the idea of this. Huh? How did I get from that to this? I started with this and then I was like, I want it to be two floors. And then I was like, this is too small. So then I just added in like a tower for balance and like a little bit more here. So it's kind of fun. Like it's, it's like a nice space to be able to like flesh out ideas. What else we got in here? This is my XP farm from Chill Survival. I never added this though. Never added that. I was going to, but then I was like, I don't really, I feel like it's good on it, like standalone. It just felt, 
felt right. This is so fun to see. I'm so glad you guys like stuff like this. This is, um, some of the stuff with the palette that I had for one shot, actually. I don't remember. I think I built the one shot. Oh, here it is. The one shot build is here. It was like a quick little build that I tossed up. I can't really see what the shaders. It's in the other direction. And then I was just like messing around with that palette. I didn't end up building any of these, though. I built these, these towers. I didn't do that, though. This is the chill survival portal. Basically, this idea came to my mind when I was working on one shot because I was like, I really like the mud palette. Chill survival stick house. Like seeing how you do the test builds. Yeah, I find it's like very interesting to peek into like the world of people, like uh, like people's ideas and stuff. This is sugarcane farm. Pretty much the same. It's just the uh, flooring that I changed. I made it a little bit more rough. We'll see you later, Cherry. Hope you have a good rest of uh, your day. Free freestyle has always been the way. My goal is to do better planning this year. Yeah, it's so funny how some people work better freestyling while others work better like the opposite way. Why is there a camel? <laughs> He's just part of this world now because I, I used him in the camel sanctuary and he ended up escaping. <laughs> Here's the one of the, the mending house with Sev. I think I started off. I don't know why. Oh, I remember I had built like the basic shape and then Sev was on the server with me and she kind of helped like rough the rest out with like the windows. That's why the windows are purple. Sev added that and I was like, I love it. It's so Sev. And then you can see like sometimes I'll get into like the mood to build a bunch of stuff. So then I'll just label it survival world mining outpost. And then it's kind of just like ready to go. I sat on this for like ever. I built this like months prior to when I actually put it into an episode survival world windmill. Uh, This house, I've built like variations of it, I think probably actually no, I, I built that in one shot. Just like a bunch of like organics in here. This is um the chill survival, whatchamacallit, enchanting table, which I actually like better in this survival world than I like it better in chill survival. Sorry, in my creative world. I think it looks nicer with stuff not around it, with the pops of color. It looks better here than it does in chill survival. I think it's because there's like less surrounded by it. I'd have to clear out some trees or something to make it pop a bit more, I think. Jill, welcome on in. Can tell you have world edit with all the floating buildings and stuff. <laughs> I should definitely do this to upgrade my skill because I'm doing all my build and survival. Honestly, once you learn how to like, I would I suggest having a creative world that you just mess around in. Cause it just helps you like think of shapes and it helps you kind of quickly change out palettes and stuff, even without world edit. It completely changed the game for me when I started, um, started a creative world. There's like, I think I do have another world with some other stuff in it, but this is like the bulk of what I've done recently, I would say. Oh, this is my one hour challenge build. Look at that. So cute. Mostly the glass uh, block in the sky. Always. What is it? Up. One. Whoosh. So you can copy and paste stuff. Pretty wild, right? This is the uh, greenhouse that I built. And I, as you can see, I was very torn on like what palette to go with. I kept messing around with it. <laughs> Eventually, I just like stuck with, I think, the dark oak. I think that's pretty much it in here for now. And then there's like a random village <laughs> just hanging out on the outskirts. All right, I'm going to switch back over to the other one. Hold on. There we go. And we are back. Goal this year is to stop procrastinating because I always get distracted when I uh, when I get to build. Yeah, procrastination. I I am uh, very notoriously a procrastinator as well. I totally feel that it's hard. I get very sidetracked sometimes, even when I'm like 
filming and editing, I tend to walk away a lot from my computer just to like stare out the window, which honestly I've heard is good for me though. It's good for your eyes. So I keep telling myself that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just helping my eyeballs. Need to start using Creative World. I always just try to wing it and I've torn down so many things in survival. Yeah, I find it really helps. It helps you like really learn shapes, especially because you can fly around things really easily. Um, it helps you like try different palettes really quickly. I think it's good to be able to know how to do like both styles of build, whether it's like you're learning how to build things on the fly, because I think that's super useful, too. I love that I can just like whip up builds now. I really struggled with that before. And then it's also nice, like for making videos, it's nice knowing like what what I have, like what I have to build, because then I can kind of focus on the edit, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier to like be able to kind of just like mess around in my like chill survival world if everything's kind of like already done build wise then i can just focus on like how i'm gonna build it like what's gonna happen in the episode and it feels just like a lot more like it's funny because i'm planning a build but in a way it feels like a lot more like authentic because then i can focus on just like i don't know messing around and seeing what happens that day with an adventure and stuff because you never know what's gonna happen Let's get rid of this one. Let's do a couple of big pallets. I'm gonna get rid of these two. Gotta get uh, on the sales floor at work. Talk to you all later. Behave yourselves. Moon, thank you so much for hanging out. We'll catch you later. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Angie, welcome on in. Bones, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. How do you translate from creative to survival? Do you have creative world pulled up on another screen? Screenshots? I do screenshots, actually. I actually do screenshots and I do post-its. So if I have like a build of like, let's say this, I literally just like count, I do a little post-it note of my footprint and I'll just write out the dimensions. I'll go like one, two, three, like five across, three across, and I'll just write it all out. And then I'll have my reference photo next to it. I don't use world or um what's that one called like Matica? I tried it before. I it there's something about it that doesn't really click with me. I found it really hard as a program to kind of use. And also I kind of like the process of just like building things up because even when I do build let's say like the shell of a building creative, I can still add things to it after in survival. So some like you know what I mean? I can still detail it differently if I want and stuff. And I do like having that option. Light Manica didn't really do it for me. Gotta be honest. I get why people use it. I really do. But I, for me personally, I was just like not a huge fan of it. Uh, oh, you know what can make this look kind of cool? Hold on a second. Cass, welcome back. Just gotta have a sip of water. Love your builds, they're so pretty. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. You work from screenshots also? Yes, also, you also have the drawings uh, on paper. I love that. It's There's just something about it that's so readable for me. It just makes the whole process so much easier, honestly. Tried Light Matica, didn't really like it. I understand why people use it, especially for really big builds um, and getting like the shape down for something like that, but I, cu I couldn't do it. I think the only time I used it for a video was for my Bloodlines build, the very first one. And I struggled with it so much. I think it ended up confusing me because I was like, I'm building something, but I don't know why I'm placing these blocks. Like, none of it makes sense because I'm placing it in an order that I wouldn't naturally build something in. You know what I mean? 
You're having Chinese for dinner? Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. We had it the other night uh, over the weekend and it was so good. I, I kind of wish we had more leftovers. You wing it and hope for the best? Nah, I feel that. But you always learn something in that process, right? That's the good thing about like winging it. You always, even if it, it takes you longer to get to the end result, you still learn something. Oops. Just gonna do like piles of logs and stuff here. And maybe like some piles of stone too would look really cool. Basically, I'm just trying to make an area that looks like um, a bunch of like shipment containers and stuff trying that would be going into that build. If that makes sense. So we could do like a pile of stone maybe behind or something. Love the way you edit your videos. Do you have any tips on how to begin editing for beginners? Ooh, that's that's tough. I It's tough because like I feel like I'm always everybody's editing style is different and I'm always changing mine up if that makes sense. Editing for beginners, I would say like, um, hmm. it's taking me a moment to think about this. I would say, sorry chat, I'm, I'm literally struggling with this because I still struggle editing, <laughs> like, um, I would say it's important to like, honestly, for me, the way that I started editing like Let's Plays and stuff was a lot of like the voiceover and stuff was done in game. Um, so I would like, I, I found that what I struggled with the most and still do struggle with is commentary. So I would say just taking your time learning how to do commentary. And if you like mess up and have to redo a take, that's totally okay. Um, I would say like being mindful of each shot because at the end of the day when you're making a video you are kind of like weaving together a story one thing that i tend to do with my videos is i i don't film large chunks of footage because one i'm terrified that if a piece of it gets corrupted then like i've lost an hour's worth of footage unless i'm doing a long play that's different and two i find it's easier for me to chop something up um segments and figure out like what i need to do next in the game for the progression of like the story because each each episode's kind of like a story right and also plan out your episodes i find planning things out having like a beginning middle and end even if it's like you're like well i'm just pretty much building a barn it still is a story that you're trying to tell so i think it's like really important to kind of establish stuff like that establish a story kind of try to follow through with it have a plan i usually have like a word document um when i record my episodes i find it's like it's very helpful to see what i have to do so i don't miss anything either one thing that i learned along the way was um learning to leave like silence in for a while like i i think i because i started with the long plays i was like totally comfortable with silence then i was like no, I need to cut out silence. Like, there can't be any. And now, like, I'm trying to bring silent moments and, like, more thoughtful, like, quiet moments back into my, uh, my edits. I need some campfires and signs. Gotta dip into a meeting. Thanks for the advice and have a good rest of stream. Aw, uh, Amber, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great meeting. As long as it vaguely resembles uh, what I come up with in my head, I'm happy. Like for builds and stuff, me too. That's how I feel as well. As long as it just like is a vague representation, I'm like, I did good. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
It's gonna wrap some stuff around here to make make it look like the shipment, the shipping items are like bound together, kind of. It's like this. Yo, that looks pretty good. I like that. It's looking real good. Put that there. Would you look at that? That looks pretty cool. This is pretty much exactly what I envisioned with like a little um, little area with the shipment stuff. We just need a gate on here. We're pretty much good. Uh, let's get the gate maybe like around here. Just something simple like that. Can a... I feel like something could walk over that, though. We should just put some, like, leaves there or something. So it can't get in, but it also looks aesthetic. Let's go. Dun, dun. Something like that. I don't think anything can get through there, right? I don't think so. Pretty sure that's good. Let's see. Cute. I really like this area. I think that turned out very cute. Do little leaves in that corner. Pretty much good. Oh my gosh, chat. It's already been three hours? The storage looks exquisite. Shroud, coming from you, that is like the highest of the highest compliments. That is so sweet. Thank you. Hydra, finally catching a stream while you're live. I usually only watch your VODs. Love your uh, built and chill vibes. Oh, Fiona, welcome on in. Thank you so much for popping into the stream. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is like what the, this is what our storage once was. Now, this is what our storage is. Oh yeah, try it yourself. Exactly. You're so right. We can't. It's drift proof. Therefore, it is mob proof. I can't get into my own storage. So good though. So good. Well, we're not done with this yet, but I think we I think we accomplished a lot today. I think that's probably where we're gonna where we're gonna have to end things today, chat. Um but I'm very happy with it. I want to do a quick little, quick little free cam. I really want to fix this build up too. We'll probably work on that on um, Friday on Twitch. So we'll be working in this world. Uh, do exclamation point Twitch if you want to see some more progress done on this build. Um, we might be back in chill survival next week. Uh, for our streams. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on when I get my video posted. I just don't want to throw like start working in there with some spoilers and stuff because I'm currently working on an episode. So I think we might have to hold off on that and keep streaming this world until it's spoiler free. That'll happen soon, though. I'm enjoying uh, streaming this on uh, YouTube, though. I hope you're all enjoying it as well. I know that this world might be a little bit unfamiliar to some of you, but uh, this has been a a long-term world that we actually did start on YouTube. So you can catch the OG VODs on the channel in the live tab if you want. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for today. I really like how it turned out. I think it's looking very, very cool. And I'm excited to kind of like keep decorating this area up. I might work on a little bit of storage and stuff uh, before I head over to the gym if I have some time uh, while I get myself ready. But other than that, we're pretty much good to go chat just want to say big big thank you all to everybody for just hanging out with me thank you so much for the memberships uh for the super chats all of that stuff i really really appreciate it and thank you so much everybody for hanging out with me today i had so much fun you're saying you're yeah shroud i think you've maybe seen like one hour of this world in total only like an hour or so <laughs> yeah leave a like on the video uh, it really helps out the streams i really really appreciate it and chat thank you so so much if you're not gonna um 
not gonna be there for the friday twitch stream we will be back here on monday same time probably streaming from this world again so take care everybody uh i'll have a video for you all very soon this week as well uh and thank you so much again all right everybody i'll catch you later thank you so much for hanging out